Yesterday I was a little bitter about things. I was grumpy about a few things. Perhaps some music will help bring me out of that mood today. Good morning everybody and welcome to Thursday. Uh, it is a new day. As you saw yesterday I ended off the day with a little bit of a bitterness in me. Unfortunately that bitterness has carried over to today. Um, I, mm, work has been a bit on my nerves. Um, it's been not too bad, but it's been there nonetheless. Um, to make things worse today, so I told you guys I was going to fly the drone yesterday. Um, I did. I took it up for a flight. I got it up in an, into the round the yard. Um, and then I brought it down. And then I sent it back up. And as it was up, I actually decided to take it a little higher since it was flying okay. I took it up higher. Uh, and the higher it got, uh, it went crazy. Uh, the drone took over on its own and started just going where it felt like it wanted to go. Uh, when I went to hit to return to home, which is the feature that automatically allows the drone to return back to its home starting point, uh, it started flying off across the fields uh, and over the tree line. And I was like, uh, no. So I had to force it back to home and land it. Um, and then the app started telling me that the drone needed an update. So I took it in and updated it. And um, now it is saying that it cannot fly because the GPS sensor is disabled. What the crap, DJI? What the crap? So I updated the software. I followed some instructions on the forums of doing a factory reset on the actual drone itself. Did that, re-updated the device, and it still tells me the GPS, well, it gives me a similar system. It says GPS sensors disabled, uh, disconnect and reconnect device. So I have done everything I can. I contacted DJI, and what did they tell me? Now, mind you, I've only flown this drone three times, three, or three days. Um, and it's only been in the air a total of maybe seven times. Never crashed, never hit anything, never fallen from the sky. Their response is, send it in. We'll repair it if it falls under warranty. If it falls under warranty. What the heck? Everything I read is, is if you've getting, got this drone, you've only had it for a few days, and it goes bazonker donks, and you send it in, they're going to send you a bill for $200, $300 to repair it. This drone was $1,000 already. So why are they going to charge? Now, mind you, I haven't sent it in yet. I have not done it. I'm sorry for this rant. It's going to be long. It's going to be irritating for you if you don't really care. But this is how I feel right now. Because I've had it three days up in the air. Three. Three days. I flew it. And that's probably what happened to it on Monday when it went missing and I had to go recover it. Because it didn't fall from the sky. When I reviewed the footage, it simply landed. It didn't hit a tree, a bird didn't hit it, lightning didn't strike it because it wasn't even raining. Um, it just landed. It landed where it was at. And I had to go get it. That was the only difference. So, for them to tell me that I need to send it in to have it repaired, only after having it for just not even a full week, is concerning. Uh, because they're supposed to be the leader in drones and drone technology and things of that nature. So when, I, when I'm when i thinking I want a Phantom drone, I'm going to get a drone that works and works right. Uh, so this is just me ranting on about it because it's irritating. So, yeah. Now I asked him, I said, you know, what happens if it's not covered under warranty? They'll send me an invoice for how much it's going to cost to fix it. Why wouldn't it be covered under warranty? There, it's clean. There's not a scratch on it. There's no dirt on it. Um, I mean, everything works just fine, minus the GPS signal. I don't know why it quit working. It just, and it wouldn't even update. Ah! So that's irritating. So that, that is all of it. I asked him, I said, how long is it going to take for it to repair? Two to three weeks. Two to three weeks. That is unheard of. Because I haven't even had it a week. And they want me to send it in to be repaired for two to three weeks. It's just not been my week. I, I, I had a lot of problems yesterday with systems issues. I'm having problems with the drone getting lost. Then having to go find it and forage through the forest. 
and then you know trying to get it repaired and working I just wanted to play with my toys ah <laughs> thank you so now that rant is over I'm gonna get back to my regularly scheduled day and actually get some work done I just finished up a meeting uh, where uh, I was asked to speak so it it was a little bit of a thing um, I have to do occasionally meetings okay I do meetings quite frequently honestly but I had to do the meeting and I had to actually do a presentation so uh, and this is how I presented it with my hair all wackadoodle and my shirt all all cray cray because you know that's how I roll when you work from home you don't necessarily have to wear everything but who knows I'm gonna reach out and see if I can't get a haircut find out if my girl's available and I know this is probably the longest rant ever because I'm looking at my clock on the phone right now or on the uh, camera. It says 14 minutes, but I don't think it's 14 minutes. And if it is, I apologize. Let's get Thursday started and let's go have some alcohol later tonight. Making the final pass now on this necklace. And this is what the finished pattern will look like once it's all done. I just have quite a bit of ways to go still. But it's coming along. You like my pile of beads? So, it's finally done. I finally finished it off today. And it is ready for sale. I like it. it turned out really well. It's a one of a kind piece that you may not see everywhere. Uh, but it's definitely really really pretty all right guys well that's the end of the day it was not a very busy day for vlogging anyway uh but it was busy otherwise uh so yeah i'm still a bit of a sour mood uh but i guess i would be after the week that i've had so not to be expected anyway i'm gonna go ahead and call it an evening i'm gonna go in there get some dinner and i'm gonna watch some tv so i'll talk to you guys tomorrow